Update 1.1.3 is now live and it is the weekly update. So we're gonna go over what is available and we're gonna start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So real quick, if you guys don't know what update 1.1.3 is, then I will put an annotation on the top right of the screen, that way you guys can check that out, or when the full patch notes are released, I will put that in the description as well. So it is the weekly reset, and we will start with the milestones first. We have strike challenges, which you need to complete three strike challenges. Then we have the nightfall. This week's nightfall is the tree of probabilities. And remember, there are no longer any modifiers because in update 1.1.3, it is now all about nightfall uh, strike scoring as well as nightfall challenge cards. Next, we have the Leviathan, which you need to complete the raid or the Raid Lair. Then we have Call to Arms, which you participate in Crucible matches. Then we have Clan XP, which you earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, Crucible, or World Activities. This week's Flashpoint is on Titan, and if you complete the Heroic versions of this, you can get it done faster. Then we have Heroic Strikes, which you need to complete three Heroic Strikes. And then last but not least, we have to, or we are allowed to, celebrate with New Monarchy. And to celebrate, New Monarchy offers Guardians, a legendary weapon. So if you guys chose New Monarchy for the Faction Rally last week, then they won again for the third time in a row. Congratulations to New Monarchy. So let's see what Tess Everest has this week at the Eververse. We are going to start with the wonderful emotes. We have the Odd Dance. Then we have the Otter Dance. As for ships or vehicles, we have the Twin Tail Locust vehicle for a speeder. This is pretty much just another reskin. Then for the ship, we have the Bassanio. And this pretty much looks like a dumbed down version of Osiris' ship. Then for the ornaments, we have the Jade Countenance for the Fighting Lion. And this is an ornament. And then we also have the Red Dwarf Ornament for the Sunshot. Armor of the Week is the Omega Mechanos Gloves. Comes with one mobility and two recovery. It's really nothing special. It also comes with uh, Mobility Enhancement Mod, as well as Posterior Reinforcement Mod for the Warlock. Ghost is the Cosmo Shell. And it is an exotic ghost. Actually, it looks pretty cool. And I don't have one. At least I don't think I do. Next, we have the Coral Rabbit, which is the Jade Rabbit Transmat Effect. Can't really see it. For shaders, we have the Mercury Vex Chrome. And this is what it looks like. Move that out of the way. And then we also have the uh, Precursor Vex Chrome. That actually looks pretty badass. And last but not least, we have your Fire Team Medallion, Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, as well as of the Crucible. Don't forget to visit K6 in order to oh, get no. these awesome, wonderful treasure maps. Treasure map is on Titan, so he actually has a couple of those. I might have one already. I am not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah. So go ahead and pick those up. So for those of you who did choose New Monarchy for the Faction Rally, you guys will be granted this wonderful winner's offering, which is the Legal Action 2. And this is a legendary pulse rifle. Let's look at it real quick. We have high impact frame, which slow firing and high damage. This weapon is more accurate when stationary and aiming down sights. Then we have GB Iron, SC Hollow, as well as LD Watchdog. And then we got Accurized Rounds, High Caliber Rounds, and last but not least we have Rampage, which kills with this weapon temporarily grant increased damage and it stacks up to three times. Looks pretty cool. 
for the most part. Uh, you can put whatever shaders you want on it. Oh yeah, baby. I I'm getting that one. Unfortunately, if you did not actually choose uh, New Monarchy, then you are going to have to pay a low, steady price of 5,000 Glimmer for this Betty. As you can tell, I didn't pick New Monarchy for my Warlock, but I did pick New Monarchy for my Hunter and my Titan. So, let's go ahead and spend 1,000 Glimmer for both of those. So, we are on my Titan right now, and we are going to go ahead and grab that wonderful winner's uh, gun for 1,000 Glimmer. And here we are on my Hunter. And if you guys enjoyed this Destiny 2 video, feel free to watch these other two videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.